everybody, I'm Bingman427 and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now the reason why I haven't been keeping up with the usual schedule that I have where it's, again, it's instead of doing videos at like, again, like random types of videos at the random times, it's the whole, basically if you go through the playlist that I have, you'll see it's the whole, I just go through the uh, least recent and then it ends up coming, it's, it's like a weird change, it doesn't matter, but I was supposed to either upload Betacraft or Scrap Mechanic as one of the uploads, but then I had, you know, instead I had uploaded uh, Stranded and Block World, which Block World was terrible, so I deleted it. Um, but I came back to Scrap Mechanic, and I'm like, hey, you know what's a cool idea? Since they added the sensor update to Scrap Mechanic, why don't I try to make a combination lock using colors? So, I am going into this almost completely blind with barely an idea of how I'm going to make this combination lock with colors. And we're just going to see how this goes. Let us begin.
Okay, so after a little bit of uh, thinking, a uh, very basic uh, little thing, and it's not, again, I, ch I chose a few random colors, but basically how this is going to work is I tried to make a simplified version. I would have loved something where you press a button and it changes one color, but uh, that's not the case. Uh, I'm just not that smart at doing that, but basically what we have here is we have a sensor, so this will be the combination uh, sensor. Basically, it if it does not detect the correct color, this light will not light up, meaning it's not having an output. So basically, it's selected a red. Now, again, I only have these four colors uh, just to make it easier. Uh, and, yeah, it's, ju it's just a lot simpler. Uh, and so again, right now, it's supposed to be detecting red it's doing that and red is in its vision the color red is there so the light is on but red's not in its vision anymore so it doesn't see it so yeah it's kind of that simple and then uh i'm thinking of having an and gate set up or not an and gate what is it called again hold on Ah. Yes, it is an AND gate. So all of the things have to be... So basically, if all these little sensors are on, then, then it has an output, and then, you know, there can a, a door can open or something. And yeah, again, there's probably a really simple way of doing... A simpler way or smaller way of doing this, but... Like with, like, you know, fancy... And gates and you know or gates I don't know I'm not dead good at this so uh, it's a little bit of a uh, challenge for me but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to basically take out a chunk of this and I'm going to save this and it's, I'm just going to call it basic color lock. That could have gone a lot faster if I used both hands. But there we go. So now we've got a very simplified, simpler version of this. So there we go. So now what we can do is... Yep, there we go. Go to this. Actually, no, wait, no. What we should do is... Let's just set this to a three-color system. Uh, so, let's take this corner. Put that there. And then this corner. Put that there. There we go. Then... 
what I can do is good. All lines up perfectly. Oh, wait, no, it's still on that. Okay, so won't be working. So there we go. We're just going to use this and we're going to have it set to an AND gate. Yeah, and then we're going to connect. Oops. And we're going to connect all these sensors to this. There we go. And then let's just have a light block here. Connect up to that. There we go. So now it's not what I wanted. Damn it. There we go. So now, there we go. So now, the output isn't correct, but it goes back to red. There we go. And obviously, I can change the colors to one of these colors, but uh, for, oops, for right now, we're just going to keep it at a. Uh, actually, no, I should just take that off. There we go. But for now, we're just going to keep it at these four simple colors. And again, so you can have like an infinite amount of these if your game can handle it. Um, but yeah. So. Now well, we've got that figured out. I guess the real question is figuring out what this can open. Because this is going to be a really short video if I figured out how to make a a combination lock. I mean, it could obviously be smaller, but this is a very a very simplified version of it, so. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I can make, like, a door we can open and see if it works. There we go. Actually, it's more like that big. There we go. I can get rid of that. Okay, man. Eh. There we go. And then. Eh. Eh. There we go. Eh, good enough. And you know what? Let's make this, yeah, like a fancy piston door, just because it's easier to make, I guess. I don't know. Uh, how are we going to do this? Man, this is it's a lot simpler than I thought it would be, and a lot, the video's going to be a lot shorter than I hoped it would be, but, hmm, 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 uh, okay, I guess we might as well, so it's, yeah, do a piston, one, two, three, four, so it's four blocks, let's do, That needs to be one more. There we go. Put that there. And we can do one, two, three, four. There. And there. So if I do this properly. Did it? Did it not wanting to? Oh, whoops! Whoa, that was a leg spike. Okay, now that's really simple. Uh, let's try it with a different color. Let's set it to blue. And let's keep that one at red, and let's set this one to green. There we go. So the colors not in the right place. That one's in the right place. That one's in the right place. Oh, whoops, I don't want it as an AND gate. I want it at an... A NAND gate. So there we go, now it's open. And then if I... There we go, so now I need to set it back... To blue. And I can get through. Yeah, I'm stuck. Okay, so I guess I might as well go over uh, the extreme basics of this. So uh, I'll just bring the 
actual mm -hmm. simple lockout. So I'll go over basically how it's made in the wiring of this. So this light is just basically a output for the sensor. Uh, if again, if you're gonna have multiple of these, then you connect the sensors to a uh, logic gate and then preferably set it to a NAND because if you're making a lock, then this way it's this way it's only going to wait what oh I had it set to green whoops so basically have it set to a NAND NAND yeah NAND and then have the gate connected to your actual output so that, that way whenever the things open you know it's a gate or again on it's the whole it doesn't matter just connect to a logic gate it's just that simple but let's basically go through this. So this is just a little electric engine. Again, this is using a mod. And you can make this more complicated, but this is just a on a bearing that spins and I have this little white block here to represent that this is the color being shown. And again, as you can see, it's it's mirrored so that this way it's a lot easier to tell and not having again, it's the whole you want to see the color that you've selected kind of thing so yeah and then yeah it's just that's and the switch is connected to the motor the motor is connected to the bearing and then <laughs> the sensor is connected to your output and then you know your output could be an AND gate or a light and then that's yeah, connected to AND gate a logic gate I need to, it's a logic gate and that could be connected to your thing yeah that's pretty easy and I demonstrated it uh, you know what, I'll, as a cool little thing, I'll leave a, I'll see if I can upload this to the, to the, uh, workshop and see what you guys can do with it. I'll leave a link down in the description, uh, and so uh, you guys can see what you can do with it, and yeah. So, sorry this video is a little shorter than normal, but, uh, if you guys did enjoy, be sure that like button, if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe, and leave a comment, as it is appreciated.